general and local factors of malocclusion are considered in which classification so the question is general and local factors which cause malocclusion that is etiology okay so here the classification that they are talking about is the classification of the etiology of malocclusion and not the classification of the malocclusion itself okay so if you see the options here that is moyers ackermans grebers white and gardeners we can see that ackermans classification is a classification of the malocclusion okay it's a three dimensional or a classification that was given by ackerman and prophet in all three planes of space so this can be eliminated now from the other options that is moyers grebers and white and gardeners how have they classified the etiology so first is moyers classification so moyers he based his classification on the dockerel equation okay so the equation that was given by dockerel it stated that there is some particular cause okay which acts at a particular time on some tissues okay which causes a result so there is a cause okay and moyers has given these causes as seven factors okay so he has broadly classified these causes as seven factors the time can be prenatal postnatal okay prenatal postnatal it could be continuous it could be intermittent the tissues could be a uh, dental tissues skeletal tissues etc and the result is either malocclusion or malformation now these seven factors which was given by moyers are broadly classified as hereditary hereditary they can be developmental defects they can be because of trauma or it could be physical agents like teratogens or habits diseases okay or malnutrition so he did not give uh, local and general factors okay so moyers classification is also out what about white and gardeners classification so in white and gardeners classification he has tried to make the uh, this was the almost the first type of classification okay the white and gardener this was the first type of classification given to classify etiological causes okay and they try to make the distinction between skeletal causes and dental causes okay and in that as well they try to make a distinction between pre eruptive and post eruptive that is malocclusion that is seen before the eruption of teeth or factors which can affect before the teeth have erupted and factors which affect after the teeth have erupted so white and gardeners also did not classify it on the basis of general and local factors okay so the answer here is graber's classification now graber was the one who has classified uh, etiology of malocclusion okay so graber he classified etiology of malocclusion as general factors and local factors okay in general factors all the factors which were given uh, in uh, moyers classification so they overlap such as heredity okay, heredity congenital defects environmental causes so these are some of the broad headings in environmental again it could be prenatal postnatal then there is metabolic uh, diseases okay like endocrine infectious diseases then there is dietary cause okay like malnutrition then posture so a wide variety of general factors including trauma and habits okay whereas the local factors consisted on local changes that affect the dentition for example abnormalities in teeth okay abnormalities in teeth where they could be missing teeth they could be supernumerary teeth or they could be anomalies in the shape of the teeth okay like amesiodents they could be abnormal frenum so you know this is a local cause because when there is an abnormal frenum it causes uh, diastema formation right so these are local causes so abnormal frenum premature loss of teeth okay we know this could lead to arch line discrepancy or prolonged retention okay this could again cause the impaction of the uh, succedaneous teeth or delayed eruption or an abnormal eruptive path or ankylosis so these are all local factors which can cause malocclusion
So the answer here is Graeber's classification.